Hey guys, back at it, doing another roof. It's gonna be a concrete roof for this one. Oh, good. surface cleaner from Kacha. It's a really good uh, surface cleaner and it's so easy to use uh, on, on the roof. When I'm cleaning roofs I make sure I clean all the edges of the tiles and all the other edges on, on the surface of the tiles and that's why I'm using this small surface cleaner. It's so easy, easy to work with. Another very important part of the preparation, grinding old pointing to make room for new pointing and uh, make a new pointing bond to the tile better. So this is a really good example when you use the wrong materials on the wrong uh, surface. This is a uh, cement and sand done as a pointing and as you can see that's the problem with cement and sand it just cracks next to the ridge cap and that's where the water gets in and then you have a problem with leakage and you don't even know what's going on. And I'm gonna show you if you knock it off all black and still wet under there the signs of water getting in in the roof and under the roof so if you're gonna do this you need to use a flexible pointing the one that sticks so good it doesn't crack on a head on the points where the tile and the pointing joined this is very critical. This is here, see it's the same on the, other, the bottom one. Same problem. Wet. Oh, wet. Oh, it's not good. very important part of the preparation for this one I'm using uh, point forks from Sealy flexible pointing The other roof as well, no whip holes. The roof behind me, no whip holes. This roof, no whip holes. So, yeah, I don't know when the people are gonna realize hey, you need to put the whip holes on the 
beach caps. But yeah, it is what it is. So before the spraying, we're gonna mask all the surface that don't supposed to be painted, like the fascia and eaves there. And there's a little down light on this side and the bigger one on the other side. I'm using a high builder undercoat. What it does, it builds the surface of the tiles that's been washed off when pressure cleaning and all the uh, surface that came off uh, uh, and become loose throughout the years. And this undercoat sort of builds it up and smoothens up and fills all the small imperfections on the roof. Besides, on this one, I'm using a 621 from uh, Krakow and the spray gun is um, the same as I use it on any other projects before. Mark 4 tech sprayer. For spraying this roof I'm using a tile guard roof membrane. Really good product from Regents. Uh, tip size is the same as the for undercoat, uh, I build undercoat, which is from Rangers as well. On this one I applied two top coats of roof membrane and some jobs the customer wants only one coat, but I do try to convince them to do two coats because it's better and uh, for the warranty on the paint, if you apply two coats, the warranty on the paint will be valid. So always make sure to convince customers to do two top coats. Thank you. 